All right, guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about and show you how I would like for you to stop transferring your weight during your swing so that you can hit the ball more solid. And the mantra that I want you to take from this video is during the backswing, right, in order to hit the ball solid, I want you to think turn, no shift during the backswing, turn, no shift, but then during the downswing, we want a shift and a turn. Okay, so backswing is no shift, all turn. Downswing is shift and turn. Many of the players I've been working with recently struggle and consistently struggle to hit the ball solid because they get this weight shift part incorrect. Now, I wanna show you a quick example of some of the best players in the world doing this and show you exactly what I mean. Then we're gonna come back, I'm gonna show you some drills and feels to help you with it. We'd like to thank Element for sponsoring today's video. People so often overlook hydration when in fact I'm like, hey, you lost all those shots at the end of your round because you were dehydrated. So for me, I've noticed since I started taking my hydration seriously that my ability to focus and focus for a longer period of time and really finish my rounds has increased dramatically. I've been a huge fan of Element since I first tried it over two years ago. It's a very tasty electrolyte drink mix and it's formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs. It contains a science science-backed electrolyte ratio, 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, 60 milligrams magnesium, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. This is an awesome way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a friend. You can get yours at drinkelement.com backslash ecgolf, and the deal is only available through this link. If you're someone who's trying to improve your performance on the course, you cannot neglect how important it is to replenish your electrolytes. Okay, quick example of Xander Schauffele here. I just drew a line on the left and right up his ankles. And remember the mantra here, just turn on the backswing, no shift, downswing, turn and shift. So I'm just gonna make a circle here between the line up his ankle and his left hip. Now, the first general idea here is we wanna be able to keep that hip pretty darn close to that line. You see, by the time he gets to the top of his backswing, right before he starts his downswing, he's more or less the same distance away from that line that he started, about that circle. There's a, maybe a slight off motion, but he's pretty centered. Same thing if you look at the line up his right ankle, notice the distance there between his right hip and the line. And as he turns back, he's more or less the same distance away that he started on both sides, so it's very centered. Now if I draw a second line, which is gonna be kind of outside of his foot here, during the downswing, he's not gonna just turn with no shift, like the backswing, during the downswing, he's gonna shift and turn. So now we're gonna see that his belt buckle is gonna get all the way pushed forward into this outer edge of his foot line. See the belt buckle's there. It's not just the left hip that got there, it wasn't just shift, he's turning and shifting. So in the downswing, the belt buckles forward of where it started by quite a bit and rotated. So just one more quick look here. The original line, he stays pretty much centered on the way back. He's pretty much just turning and not shifting too much off the target. But then during the downswing, he's gonna break through that wall with the belt buckle as he's turning and shifting. And that's the key for pure iron strikes. Let me show you some drills and some feels how you can do this as well. All right guys, so there obviously we saw Xander Schauffele, one of the best players in the world, great ball striker, demonstrating what we're talking about here. And just to reiterate a couple of those points, uh, you're gonna see I have my golf bag here and I want you to use this as a drill or feel. I've got my golf bag, you could use like a chair, any object just to the left of your body. Just put it slightly far enough back, obviously that you won't hit it with your hands, but having an object here just outside of my hip and my ankle to serve as, as a reference for the main things that I want you to feel, which are here, imagine I have that wall right up my, my lead side or the outside part of my left hip. I wanna feel in my swing, like my lead hip, just like Xander, like my lead hip basically stays on that wall on the way back. And then on the way down, my belt buckle is gonna push through that wall towards the target, okay? Most players that I uh, come to see me that struggle with contact, struggle with one of those two, meaning either A, on the way back, they have too much shifting with their turning. So they're shifting too far away from the target, which moves the low point back, fats and thins inconsistent or they stay pretty centered on the way back, 
but they don't shift enough forward on the way down. I see those two problems a lot. Whereas if we watch the best ball strikers, we would watch them demonstrate these pieces, which are during the backswing, they're able to stay pretty darn centered, right? We see Xander with the lines up his ankles, basically his left hip and right hip stay inside those two, so I'm staying very centered as I'm turning, but on the way down, I'm not just staying right in that same spot. He's breaking through that wall and pushing his weight towards the target. And the point of that is the same as the backswing. When I make my backswing, I'm gonna just stay centered right over the ball but I wanna shift my weight forward as I turn to help me be able to get the low point in front of the golf ball. It also helps me get the club working from inside, but mainly to get the low point in front to hit the ball solid. So it's key that you have both those areas. Backswing, no shift, just turn. Downswing, shift in turn. You notice with him, if we look at him with the line here, it wasn't like his left hip just went through. It wasn't pure shift. He didn't finish like this. His belt buckle went through. His belt buckle went forward towards the target as he pushed his hips forward, right? So I've got my driver sticking out of sort of the left side of my bag. I'm gonna use this as reference. I'm gonna start with that about a fist or so outside my hip. In my mind, and what I want you to try and do, and you can use a wall or chair for this as well, is feel like your left hip is gonna stay the same distance away from that on the way back, but then on the way through, push your hips forward and your belt buckle into it, okay? This is like weight shift. 101 stuff I want you to have. So left hip stays on it or near it, and then belt buckle pushes through. And there's about as solid as I can do it. Now, when we're looking to improve your swing, basically what we wanna be able to do is eliminate variables that could cause you issues. If you're someone who doesn't hit it consistently solid, this is a huge variable you need to wipe off your board so we know this part is good, okay? This is a big, big, big one. A lot of people struggle with. Same idea here, I, my left hip feels like it starts on the wall, stays on the wall, and then my belt buckle pushes forward. So I feel like I start 50-50 with my weight in my feet. I stay 50-50 as I turn, and then I'm pushing towards about 100 on my left. And again, this left hip on the wall. I don't have it right here, it just gives me a little visual or a little image here. So again, left hip starts on the wall, stays on on the way back, and then belt buckle pushes through. And there's another very solidly struck shot. And those are the feels I want you to do. And you can practice this with an object in just to give you visual reference. You can put an alignment rod on the ground, etc. And then you can take that out and still feel those same things. Use a golf cart out on the course. Something where you have a reference for your left hip. One more. So left hip stays on the wall during the way back. Remember the backswing's turn, no shift. Downswing is shift and turn. Hip stays in the wall and then belt buckle to the target. Not hip to the target, belt buckle to the target. So I'm blending the shifting and turning. Hip stays in the wall, belt buckle on the wall. An all very solid shot. So listen, if you're someone who struggles with contact, again, I want you to eliminate these off your board. So many players I work with in person or that we work with online at Cagorno Golf struggle with this weight shift part. Now we can have this down, there might be some other issues causing you problems. You might still be hitting fats or thins, you might struggle with direction control, I'm not hitting it far enough, whatever it is, but to be able to tell you those, we need to be able to see your swing. And just like for my game, the thing that really took me to the next level was having coaching, accountability, community, to make sure I was working on those main one or two things I needed to help take my game to the next level. I tried to identify that and work on that myself for like a decade, <laughs> did not work. So trust me, trust the thousands of people we work with. If you wanna get out of this, and start getting steady improvement, come see me in person. We'll put that link down below or go to cagornogolf.com. Would love to work with you. If you have any questions about weight shift, go ahead and leave a comment down below.